Hey guys, this is Rusty78609. I'm in Burnett, Texas, USA. I'm at Rogers Motors in Burnett, and they sell a lot, a lot of lightweight travel trailers for you guys that don't have a big, big vehicle to pull them with. These are travel light express units. They're 14 footers approximately. And uh, this is, what is your first name again? Uh, Sean. Sean. This is Sean Rogers. He's the owner, and he's going to show us how to put this awning out right quick. And the one we're looking at right now is all fiberglass, and it's going to run how much, Roger? Uh, this is 14 this one is 14,900 and it weighs about 1900 pounds 1900 pounds. 1900 pounds okay he's going to show us how to put this manual awning out and I have you can see how easy that was so you're just going to pull this down pull that down, pull down. and out it comes guys here. oh you got to undo one over here. over here got it now you got it there we go now you're rolling and there you go guys nothing to it now you've only got to be now see the difference is now you got to be two feet tall to get in your house <laughs> see now you have to become a midget it's, that's what you call a short person's awning <laughs> and then you lock it in place here yeah you no know, you put you pull out these little things on the sides see he's done this before obviously and uh, he knows how to do it all right yeah you slide that up slide that up you're done there and then you put that little handle there you see that halfway up here halfway up got it just a minute, I'm gonna let you see what he does over here. There it goes. How about that, all guy? All the way up here. All right. And that way, and, you know, a lot of people sh leave their awnings tilted at an angle because if it rains, uh, the water will run off to one side. And uh, yeah, that's pretty easy peasy, right? And then that covers the whole thing. But again, this is a, uh, this is called a travel. This is fairly new, isn't it? This is a 2018 travel light. Right, but I mean, but but they haven't had this out many years, have they? Uh, not very long. Okay, yeah, these are 2018 models. This one right here, we're looking at right straight ahead. This one, this one is fiberglass, okay, and it's got a little different uh, uh, wheel there, aluminum wheel. The one behind it is the same unit basically, but it's aluminum. It's got aluminum roof also, which is very good. It comes with a little different wheel, big deal. Doesn't make any difference. But this one, uh, the, the 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 aluminum model is twelve thousand nine hundred dollars, and it also weighs. 1,700 pounds? 1,770 pounds. 1,770 pounds. So you got about 200 pounds of weight difference and about 1,500 to $2,000 difference in the uh, uh, price. But be that as it may, guys, I'm telling you, uh, if you're looking for a lightweight RV, okay, I know a lot of you guys are looking at casitas, you're looking at scamps, and you're looking at a lot of different things, lightweight, that are easy to tow. All right, this right here is the same thing as both of those, and it's, it's about $5,000 less. And let me show you on the inside. It's well built. It's got some speakers on the outside. Of course, you got the awning. You already see that. Let me get inside. Thank you, Roger. You bet. Thank you. You, you have a good. I'll, I'll be right inside. Okay. Thank you very much. But anyway, these things are well built. All right. I mean, I was inside of them a while ago, and I was talking with Roger. And the, the cabinets are nice. Uh, of course, outside speaker system. Got two speakers. And we'll go inside. Now, and as you come in the doorway on the right hand side, this is something I really like. You got these little mesh deals there that where you can put stuff and that is a big big storage area okay that is huge okay i mean and there's one on the bottom the same way and i love it because it's open you can see what kind of stuff is in there and for me i'm 72 years old i forget where i put crap and if i can't see it it might as well be gone here's another little storage place right above the two i just showed you big 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 got some stuff place to hang stuff i like that it's got a it's got a wet bath. Of course, again, this is only a, a 14 foot unit, but again, it's got a wet bath. I stood in it a while ago. Uh, it would be cramped for me, okay? It would be cramped. I'm um, six foot two, uh, but uh, for camping, it's perfect. Could I live in this? Yeah, of course I could. You know, but again, I like it. I like it. I like this unit. I really do. I, I like, the, like the whole thing. I like the price. Uh, I'm six foot two. I'm standing straight up, and I've got about two inches of clearance above my head. It comes with a microwave, vent hood, two burner propane stove, and a small refrigerator. If I can figure out how you got it open a while ago, I think you have to push. You could push. You push this little thing here, and then it opens. But it's a three cubic foot, I think. It's a Dometic, and it's got a little freezing compartment on the top. Two drawers. It'll. This will be the same as what's in my. Uh, RV that I've ordered. I've ordered a Coachman 16FB. See, 
the only thing I mean I would buy this okay I really would and the reason is one well, here I'll show you in just a minute it's got, it comes with a microwave I don't know if that's convection or not uh, I don't think so that's just a microwave but anyway it comes with doesn't come with a roof AC it comes with this wonderful 5000 BTU uh, window air conditioner that's mounted in place and then of course you've got a, a nice opening right there a nice vent now what you could do if you're going to be boondocking is, is replace this vent with a either a max air max fan or a fantastic fan and you're hell you're good to go and then as far as a bed that right there makes into a bed that table this is really a nice tabletop too i gotta tell you i mean that's not just i mean it's just you know it's really nice it's got it's got some character to it and of course you've got a little uh, countertop there you know so if you're sitting here you know you got a place to put your beer or drink or whatever your laptop whatever and then over here of course you've got a little sound system here and this is your furnace and you got a directional thing there for your vent and uh what else what else what else what else uh that's for all your fuses and stuff but yeah i mean i i would i could do this i mean i could actually do this and and it weighs uh like this one this is the fiberglass unit it weighs 1950 pounds and the aluminum unit weighs uh, 1750 pounds and and there's about a two thousand dollar difference in the price uh, between the aluminum and the this is a big microwave well it looked big on the, oh it is big that's, that's just something that goes in there okay you got some storage here on the sides okay yeah you got three one two three plenty of storage there uh they don't have any storage under the sink i don't see that uh got storage over here under these cushions yeah these lift up and you've got storage under there so you've got plenty of storage i think for me anyway i don't need much all right uh the less you take the less you have to fool with you got two deals there of course there's your danby d-a-n-b-y air conditioner you know the good thing about that unit is those 5000 bt units if they go out you can replace them for 100 bucks you know what i mean nothing to it and you can do it yourself you don't have to go to an rv dealer or nothing anyway it's got a nice little stainless steel yeah, it is stainless steel. How about that? Now, this is plastic, but this is stainless steel. You don't have much countertop. Uh, you could probably build something or set something you know, where you have more out here making an extension. But anyway, yeah, this is livable. It's also very campable, so to speak. And for the price, I think this one's around $14. And the other one is $12.9. I think this one's $14.9. And, uh, but anyway, this is Rogers Motors in uh, Burnett, Texas. And he just got these in, and that's why I'm here today, checking this out. And do I, I kind of like this awning too. You know, I've never been a real fan of awnings. Now this is a manual awning, and he put that out real easy. But of course, if you've done it a while, you know, you know, you know what you're doing, and it works fine. But again, uh, if you guys are looking for a small unit, lightweight, let me go around and I'll show you the whole thing. You know, this is where the propane tank goes here in the flush. Comes, comes with a propane tank, spare tire, and all that stuff. Uh, what else uh, got some storage underneath here got an outside shower that's great you, can you use that hell yeah when you're boondocking you don't have to fill up your tank on the inside and you can have it you can take a hot shower okay there's hot and cold water there and of course those are your vents for the refrigerator and stuff there's the water hooked up if you have if you're at the, you know where you got a water hook up this is uh, the vent for the vent hood right here uh, let's see this is the 30 amp hookup this is the cable uh, this is two-way hot water heater. I think that's great. I would love to buy this myself, and I might. We'll see. But having said that, guys, <clears throat> from Central Texas, USA, at Rogers Motors uh, in Burnett, Texas, uh, this is a Travel Light Express E14. So check them out, guys. I mean, th this is a camping machine, guys. I'm very impressed. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye bye, USA, maybe you can drink plenty of water, keep your health, and that way you'll enjoy camping. Adios, guys.